Welcome to the morning offering, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Hey, y'all. Welcome to your morning offering. My name is Father Brad Doyle, and today is October 28th, a Monday in the 30th week of Ordinary Time. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart and union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today is the feast day of Simon and Jude. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it matter. We love that song. Jude, Jude, Apostle Jude. Uh, in reflecting about uh, St. Jude, I thought it would be a good insight for everyone to understand that Jude, the name Jude, actually is connected to Judas. So there was two Judes or two Judases in the apostles. Um, you had the good Judas <laughs> and then you had the bad Judas. And it made me start thinking about the connections between Jesus and Joseph, right? The patriarch Joseph in the, in, uh, the Old Testament, the one who was rejected by his brothers and, and sent off to Egypt. And, and they told his dad, Jacob, that he had been killed by a, an animal because Joseph is a type, a type of Jesus, a foreshadowing. He points to Jesus and the connections are absolutely crazy, beautiful. It, it's proof of the veracity of scripture. And the, the first connection is that Jesus gathered the 12. Joseph was part of the 12. And Jesus was betrayed by Judas, and Joseph was betrayed by his brother Judah, which is the origin of the name Judas and Jude. That's just one connection. Here are a couple more. Uh, Joseph's father gave authority over his brothers. Jesus was given authority by his father over the twelve. Joseph was the most beloved of his sons. That's why he gave him that colorful uh, coat, the coat of many colors. If I knew one of the songs from that uh, musical, I would sing it, but I don't. Um, and Jesus is the only begotten son, the beloved. This is my beloved son with whom I'm well pleased. Joseph escaped death by going to Egypt. Where did Jesus go? Well, Joseph, <laughs> Joseph, his dad, and Mary took Jesus to Egypt to escape death. He was betrayed by his brothers sons of Jacob and Israel. And Jesus was betrayed by his brothers, the sons of Israel, the Jews. Joseph's brothers believed he was dead, but he was found to be alive. They thought he was dead, but then they found him in Egypt. Jesus was believed to be dead, but he was found to be alive. He was resurrected, resurrected from the dead. And all of these are beautiful realizations because we recognize that God's providence is active that even in the old covenant when you look at the story of Joseph I was reading it in preparation for this and I thought how vicious like if you go back and read the story of Joseph and his brothers and them selling them I mean these are brothers like the old covenant the old testament scripture does not sanitize uh, our experience as humans no, God is working with our humanity, even in our sinfulness. He will work out a greater plan. And so the Israelites, the Jews, the chosen people, actually in the end will be saved because of their sins. Right? At least Joseph ends up in Egypt and then the brothers have to come and the tribes of Israel will then be saved from famine because of their sin. God did not cause that sin but he used it for his greater good. And the same thing goes for Jesus. Right? Judas, the apostles betraying Jesus and running away. 
what happens? He is sent to his death. But because of our sinfulness, oh, happy fault, oh, necessary sin of Adam, as the exaltet says, we are saved because God knows what he's doing. This has been your reflection for today. If it was helpful for you, go to morningoffering.com and sign up. We'll be in your inbox every morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.